going to go for it. He's not going to wait for Vader. And any time that I've seen Fedor in trouble, regardless of the outcome of the match, but in trouble even within moments, it's because he's waiting. And the old Fedor did not wait for anybody. I think his first fight with Vader, um, he was defensive and he was waiting for Ryan. I think it's why he asked for this rematch. I think he looks at himself, he looks at his approach, and he knows I could have done better. How you feeling this morning, man? Oh, yes, I'm good. Win day. I'm awake, so I'm feeling great, man. I'm feeling even better once I make weight and I'm able to rehydrate. He know what time it is, man. You know what I'm saying? He know what time it is. How you feeling, Johnny? Great. Last pound was a little bit of a but always is. Part of the part of the profession. Got to be professional and make that weight. I want to eat again, dude. I'm hungry. <laughs> But you could just get it all done in the morning, you know what I mean? I think that was so easy. How we are, wake the day, I'm more awake, ready to step on the scale, rehydrate after, and go to work tomorrow. Why am I the first fight? Well, I'm first fight, it's rightfully so. I want to make sure we open up with a bang, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Come in and open the show up with a bang. You know, there's this that they feel big, and, and that's not a great explanation. But it is real. When you've been at it for a while, you can feel when something special is going on. And just seeing all the press that we had today, we did not have one empty spot. As a matter of fact, we had standing only in the back room with cameras. When, when the press comes out, they know where the big events are. This is a big event. Wait, ready to go. See you guys tomorrow. Let's go, Gracie Jiu Jitsu. When I got here, it was a little heavy. Just trying to see if we can negotiate a, a, a catch way to figure out how to ask Nikita. Um, he was already close to weight, so that kind of got scratched. So I figured once he said he was pretty close to weight, I, it was nothing I could do. I just had to um, just start making that weight cut in. Here we are, baby. We made weight. Check it out. YouTube, CBS TV, The Wolf is Back. With Bellator President Mr. Scott Coker to stare him down on the stage. Here is fight number one tomorrow night live on CBS and Paramount Plus. I heard you say then you're going to blow the roof off the place tomorrow. That's because we are. You know what they know. First to the scale will bring the challenger. Would you please welcome Anatoly Tokov? And now we welcome the undefeated, reigning and defending Bellator middleweight world champion, uh, the human cheat code, Johnny Eblin. Here's your co-main event tomorrow night live on CBS and Paramount Plus for middleweight gold. Johnny was on weight. He made weight pretty easy. Um, he was far ahead of schedule. He had a great camp. He's ready, man. You know, he's been ready since like last year. Before the Musashi fight, he's been ready since he first signed the Bellator, man. So now it's his time to showcase his skills and show the world why he's the best middleweight fighter, hands down, pound for pound. I think he's the best fighter in Bellator. I think he's the man at 185, and he's about, he's about to display his skills tomorrow night. I'm looking at social media, right? And I'm looking, and there's this little Muay Thai champ just absolutely giving you this work, bro. How are you posting this on your social media, man? Because he's good, man. He's a Muay Thai guy. You know, MMA, it's a little different. <laughs> Talk Plus, about I was going like, he's kind of small. I don't want to, like, you know, hurt him. Oh, you're being kidding. nice to him. Yeah, he's being nice to me, though, too. <laughs> so, so you're getting work in with a, a world-class Muay Thai fighter. What did you think? Dude, it's a different level. Uh, that guy's crazy good. In the main event of the evening, it'll go five rounds or less for the Bellator Heavyweight World Championship. We introduce to the scales the challenger. Would you please put your hands together for the legendary heavyweight, the last emperor, Vidor Emelianenko. And now we go to the reigning and defending Bellator Heavyweight world champion, please welcome Ryan Darth Vader. Tomorrow night, your main event, the champ, the legend, 
It'll be Fedor versus Fedor. Is this the match that you want? Yeah, you know, uh, he wanted this this fight, you know, and it, I got excited, obviously, as it went on. You know, he's a great legend of the sport. Respect that man a ton, you know, and uh, if he won that fight, I was going to give it to him. So, um, heavyweight championship of the world, you know, and I get to be part of his legacy and his story, and um, yeah, nothing better. Ladies and gentlemen, your champion, Ryan Bader. Fedor, I didn't expect a whole lot of words, but is there anything you would like to say to the fans watching on today? Спасибо за за поддержку, конечно, за эти долгие годы, что вы были со мной. Thank you very much for your support. Thank you that you've been with me for such a long time. Слава Богу, да. Спасибо всем бойцам, которые с которыми я выступал. Спасибо Челу, у нас был замечательный день. Thanks a lot for all the fighters that I that like I shared my career with. Thank you to Chell. It was a great fight. Fedor, that was beautiful. We look forward to it. The last emperor, Fedor Emelianenko. I, I've been through retirements. Like Daniel Cormier's was a tough one. Khabib Nurmagomedov, just a more recent one. But th these were very tough. I bring this up because when those happens, or something, it's a death. It, even if it's a death of a career. But, but it is a death and it has a mourning process. Things are going to be different moving forward without Fedor.